Hello everyone, so welcome to the uh, Gundam Build Divers Rerise website. I just thought I'd check out some more stuff in here. Today we're going to be going over the characters and the Gunpla in the story. I just wanted to see if there's anything we could get from this, any more story or background or whatever. So we'll start off with the what looks like the main character here, who looks the spitting image of Mika. Uh, this is Hiroto Kuga. A 14-year-old boy attending a junior high school at Seaside City with uh, good motor nerves, uh, good taste and dexterity to do anything. However, uh, he, he could do with a bit of enthusiasm. After He was inspired after seeing Kujo Kuria's uh, Gunpla battle and decided to dive into GBN. That's... I mean, it's, it sounds kind of like Riku in the sense that he saw Kyoya's fight, or one of them, and decided he'd get into it. He definitely looks like Mika, though. He looks like an older version of Mika. Obviously, he's not as young as uh, Riku was. Riku was a lot younger. The The way that they've done most of the character designs the uh, in this, apart from, I think, maybe two, to be a little bit older, just... Uh, Maybe giving hints that they, they're going to change the story and make it a little bit different and a little bit more mature. I hope so. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like this character design. I just, in most of these shots, he just looks bland and unimpressed. It's probably his character. But, uh, eh, I don't know. Weird. Let's go with uh, the character menu here. We'll go back to the next one. So this guy had me... Uh, I'd be thinking he was the next Maggie. This is Kazami. So he's just a uh, part of a group that distributes uh, videos and uh, aims to be a hero while crossing other various parties. He's not good at coordination though, apparently. Has been praised for his achievements, but he enjoys GBN. It, it, he definitely reminds me of Maggie. I'm not so sure on the design. I'm still trying to think of where they've gone with this design because uh i don't know a little bit of it looks familiar there we go to suit down there we'll look at a suit in a bit yeah i'm not so sure about that guy he looks weird to say the least then we've got may here may is the new character that is uh a little bit like a army uh she just likes solo play and is interested in Gunpla Battle, goes on it every, or Gunpla, yeah, interested in Gunpla Battle, goes on GBN every day, feared by divers in a battle style that quickly determines the best strategy and calmly pursues opponent. Okay, that sounds interesting. She seems to be uh, taking the Holy Army thing totally in the... Uh, in a new direction in terms of uh, instead of grouping up she she seems to just be going on her own and uh, not really going with a team then we've got a character here that looks a little bit like uh, Sharia's relative this is Parvez uh, a newbie that started GBN at the recommendation of a res of a respected brother they don't mention it the, the way that it's designed it's probably Sharia He's also got that SD, if I remember rightly. We'll check out the suits in a little bit. He's also got an SD that looks a little bit like a dragon, so I can imagine he's getting his sort of talents for making his gunpla from his brother. He has a strong desire for party play and formation of a force that is the best of all the online games, but is still inexperienced because of his withdrawn and diligent character. I, I mean, I do like the... Uh, the way the character looks, but it's literally just Chibi Sharia that we've seen before, and then we've got Freddy. A pilot for Hiroto. Oh, okay, okay. So, Freddy must pilot Hiroto's armor support fighter. You'll see what I mean in a moment. We'll go to the, the mecha page here. And on the mecha page, we've got the core Gundam. Which, I, I don't know, it's weird. It's weird seeing a Gundam that has knee joints attached to ankles immediately because it's so small. It's apparently based on the RX-78. Look, I can kind of see that. But it's a bit smaller than the ordinary gun plan. But it's uh, maneuverability and Hiroto's techniques make use of its small size and lightweight. 
it's weird to have the uh, the main character start out in something like that, I think. But it is cool the way that it's got uh, an armor change gimmick. We'll see it here now. It kind of reminds me of Kamen Rider Kabuto. It has like a cast-off feature. This is the Earth 3 Gundam. Uh, it docks with its support armor, which are, are named after different planets in the system. So this is the uh, the Earth, the, the standard Earth armor, it looks like. Shield with a built-in energy pack for the beam rifle, performing extra filling to get a powerful blow. I mean, they show him dashing towards the screen with a rifle and a saber at one point. You can see the, the ankles on the right-hand image have been turned up so that the armor can then slot in. I do like the design of it. I really do like the design. It's pretty cool. It's got what looks like an, an age 3 sort of crest on it. It's uh, it's neat. And then we, we have a little bit of information about the, the planet's system. A, a retrofit system mounted on the core Gundam. A support mechanism is the in the... Uh, that uses the, the names of planets in the solar system. It's possible to dock and change to various other Gundams. So yeah, it changes its performance when uh, each pack is equipped. I do, I do like that design, but the, the Mars jacket here, or the Mars armor, this one's pretty cool as well. This reminds me uh, a little bit of the red frame. It's got all blades all over it. It's got like these, uh, these claws on its forearms, and then a bit spikier armor on its shoulders. Its crest is a little bit more angled. It really does remind me of the Astray Red frame, <laughs> looking at it. Uh, mixed with uh, the Age 1 Titus a little bit, maybe just because of the colors. We've got like spikes on the feet, extra claws, or what looks like toe claws on the feet. And then the, the back has those two giant saber looking things, or so, like two physical swords. It's neat how they can do so much with simply just changing a little bit of the exterior armor and then the color. You know, and then we've got the, the final one here. This is the what looks like the V2 Gundam or Vert2 Gundam. It's it's the other final pack for it at the moment. It's got what looks like beam cannons on the arms or vents. It it reminds me of the uh, the Leopard Da Vinci from uh, Build, uh, Build Fighters. It's got a, uh, a cannon and what looks like a missile launcher backpack. With a scope on its head crest, which reminds me a little bit of the uh, the Keridim and the Dynamas. And then we've got the, uh, on the legs, we seem to have more armor and some sort of like locking system to attach it to the floor when it fires. I'm not so sure on the backpack whether those are extra vents or anything coming out the side. Or that look like wings a little bit at the bottom of it. Or whether those are extra weapons or, or not. I mean... From one angle, they look a little bit like shield bits. And from another angle, they look like either vents or some sort of like missile pods that are attached to it. I'm not quite sure. But that's the uh, the main Gundam and its packs out of the way. Then uh, we've got the, uh, the Gundam that Kazumi uses, which is the Justice Knight. It's been custom built based on the Infinite Justice and the Knight of Justice is a concept that the name that goes from its name. It's got a shot lancer as the main weapon. So it's backpack. It's, it's basically a Justice mixed with the, uh, the Knight Gundam from uh, Dynasty Warriors Gundam 3. I don't know if those are like fangs or, or something on the, the shoulders. They kind of look like it because of the blades. It's It's got what looks like a uh, a cool physical sword in a, a scabbard there. We've got a, a vented faceplate and what looks like a uh, a really neat bit of headdress there. I'd, it'd be cool to see what the kit of this is like. The The backpack reminds me a little bit of Wing as well as the Night Gundam because it's got like that one uh, single piece going down the back. And then the edges or the sides look like the uh, the wing Gundam's wings that open up. And then we've got some other cool looking things like we've got spikes coming out the ankles. That looks really cool. I like that. I like more night themed mobile suits because we've not got too many. And I imagine if you wanted to make a completely 
unique knight build. If you mix this with like the Gantelot or something, you could get a uh, a pretty cool looking build with a lot of cool armor on it. Yeah, I really do like that one. And then we've got the next one, which is Mace Suit, which is the uh, the Wodam Pod. Mace Gunplay is based on the Wodam, which appeared. In Zynga Gundam, I think that is. I might be pronouncing that wrong. Either that or the translation's wrong. I'd, it'll probably be like Zeta or something. It's seemingly unique in shape. But has... Can do martial arts with both legs. With a large amount of built-in firearms. Capable of uh, different aircraft configurations. I'm not so sure how that's going to attack. It's got the, the forearms... Which are kind of tiny. And then these huge legs. And then we've got what looks like beams on the sides. I've seen it fire missiles out of it in the uh, in the promotional video. It's a really weird design that. That's the only one that I don't think I like. Just because it's so weird compared to the others. There's the, the Valky Lander mode of the Gun Dragon. This is uh, the aircraft that is assigned to Parvis, or one that Parvis built. It's got a unique silhouette that looks like a dinosaur or a dragon. Although it's full of atmosphere that you won't find in any other Gunpla. It should be able to feel the premonition of a super gimmick from all over the place of other aircraft. So what it's basically saying there is that you can tell from a mile away that it's going to be able to transform into something else. On the... The underside, you can see what looks like some shoulders, a torso, and a head. So I imagine the it's going to have like a real mode or something. Maybe it'll change a lot like the... Uh, a lot like uh, Ayame's suit, the, uh, the unicorn one that can transform. Between real mode and a uh, an SD form. And then the final one... Is the, the Gundam Zeltsam. This one looks really cool. I just I like the asymmetrical thing on it, but it, it you can tell it's uh, it's a bit evil. The mysterious Gundam based on the Gundam Mark III, although it's far from common sense, custom rules and such, it's got a huge right arm and apparently has a lack of balance. The strength of this variant of gunpla is far beyond scope of common sense it reminds me a little bit of the astray no name purely because well and the astray no name and maybe the uh the gnx ogre because you've got the the asymmetry of the astray no name and then you've got like the ogre style head there i thought it was going to be the uh one of the seed suits that it the head crest belonged to but i was wrong about that it's got like what five or six eyes looking at that and then it's got what looks like a shot lancer as a weapon and i think that's a deployable sword on the other side i mean don't get me wrong it looks really cool i like that one we obviously don't know who it belongs to yet that's probably going to be like one of the the main story spoilers or whatever you notice the arm looks like it's folded up as well the the giant arms it looks like it's got a little bit more reach on it that it, it's sort of bent in in a uh, a ready to strike pose kind of like a snake i imagine that if it tries to grab you you try and move away it'll extend just that little bit more and be able to grab you so you can't get away from it yeah it's, it looks like it's a melee focused suit mainly so uh it's going to be interesting to see how it fights and how it deals with like long range stuff but yeah what do you guys think of all this i i do like the designs i want to see more from the uh the series see if we can see any any more good unique suits any ones that we've seen before like the reference kyoya in there so i wonder whether the, we'll be seeing the h2 magnum again in a different form that'd be really neat anyway what do you guys think of these designs and the characters. I'll see you in the comments section. Leave your comments down below. We'll, uh, we'll get a conversation going. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.